Hey, then, Tom. I should wait a bit, Jack. There's been a pit accident. My father's broken his back. Reckon it's touch and go. The owners are trying to make out it was all his fault. I'm from the mine owners. They've asked me to extend their deepest sympathy well. and to make sure you suffer as little hardship as possible. Right. Naturally, money is of the first importance at a time like this. Where's that? And the company has authorised me to hand over to you the sum of £100. I have it here in this envelope. Mrs Seaton, uh, perhaps you'll be good enough to count it. Ay, will you look at that? Can you write, Mr Seaton? I went to school like everybody else. <laughs> no, no, you misunderstand me. I mean... Are you able to write in your present condition? Just your signature. I think so. What do you want us to sign? A, a receipt for this money. It's rather a lot, you know. Is that? And it has to be signed for. Your usual signature, Mr. Seaton, just here. You bloody ghoul. I beg your pardon? You heard me, I said ghoul, but Vulture would be more like it. Who the You're hell are you? are content with breaking his back, you want to eat up the rest of them as well. And you've got the nerve to call this a receipt. No further claims against the company. Adequate and sufficient compensation. Freely admit it was caused by my own error of judgment. You very near signed your life away, Mr. Seaton, give him his money back. Jack, it's a hundred pounds. Give it back, Bella. Mr. Seaton, you're acting very foolish. Thank you for calling. Mr. Seaton, I think Good you ought day. to... You heard him, mister. I've known you turn money down before, Jack Ford. A stinking hundred pounds for that. Well, they're paying all the hospital bills. It was them got them this private room. So they bloody well should. Sorry, Mrs. Seaton, it was them put a minute. Now, you listen to me, Mr. Seaton. Don't you sign anything till you've talked to your area secretary. Okay. And talk to him quick and mind you tell him whose fault it was. Yeah. Well, yes, yes. Yeah. Three nil down at half time. <coughs> what a bloody shambles. Yeah. Evening. Mr. Crawford, isn't it? Aye, that's right. Bill Seaton's area secretary. Aye. Tom, I didn't see you there. I'm just seeing the lads here. What an awful thing to have happened. Could have been a lot worse, Mr. Crawford. Worse than a broken back? It could have been a broken back and a hundred quid compensation and not a penny more. A hundred quid? Are you sure? I was there when it was offered. In the private room paid for by the company. The fellow from the company was there too, Mr. Crawford, handing out the money and asking poor old Bill to sign what he called a receipt. I read it, Mr. Crawford. If Bill had signed that, he would have admitted it was all his own fault and the company was giving him that hundred out of the goodness of their hearts. There in that room, I read it, Mr Crawford. And where the hell were you? No, look here, are you one of my members? No, thank God. Then what the hell's it got to do with you? He's a friend, Mr Crawford. A chap that's helping me daff a out. While the fella that's paid to help him sits in a pub and drinks beer. I was just on my way over. Why, there's nobody stopping you. I'll see you, Matt. I 
thanks, Jack. Never mind, thanks. You've got a lot to do. Witnesses' names. You better get on with it. Can you not stop and help us? No, it's not my union, Tom. I've stuck my nose in far enough. We can still talk if you want to see me. Hey, are, chaps. Oh. Ta. Thanks very much. Hey, Jody, you were there, weren't you? Right. 